Open it. We are. Probably just a piece of three. One, two, three. We are. Tonight, live at the Scully Theater from the pizza convention capital of the world in the heart of downtown Las Vegas, we present the Downtown Podcast. Starring your hosts, Mr. Dylan Jorgensen, Jillian Minter, Trey Taliaferri, and music by yours truly, DJ Lenny Love Alfonso. Tonight's guest, entrepreneur Sanan Kanatsis, CEO of Pet Chow, Chris Wudlowski, and music by Grumpy. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for the man who's famous, famous for putting the pizza in Pizza Pizza, Mr. Trey Tayaferi! <laughs> we did it, we did it, whatever. Whatever. All right. Whatever. How's everyone doing tonight? Great. Great crowd. Woo. Great crowd, great crowd. Unfortunately, I have to say something. I'm going to be resigning from the downtown podcast effective Whoa. immediately. I just got a call from my agent. I'm the newest <laughs> member of One Direction. <laughs> so excited. Look out, Kurt Cameron. There's a new teen heartthrob in town. <laughs> yeah. I don't know any of their songs. This is going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> a lot of fun. Well, well. Um, well, let's talk about let's talk about Zane, right? Zane, that's the talk of the town. Zane Malik said he's quitting because he was sick of being told what to do, where to go, what to wear. Basically, it's time to go another. You can go your own way. Good job. Let's hear it for DJ Lenny. Oh. Yeah. He's quick. He's quick. He's a quick. A little too quick. Sometimes. You're intimidating with the suit and everything. You know, oh, you got me. You got I was me all nervous. Spiffy today because we got some sponsors in town. Oh, I see. Gotta look good. All yeah. right, all right. Uh, oh well, here's another news. They announced the date for to implode the Riviera Hotel and Casino. No, said all the smoke and asbestos from 1973. <laughs> Dirty. Dirty. Uh, Russia will begin space tourism again in 2018, but until then, we're still going to have to use Uber. That's whatever. NASA's not doing well right now, right? Uh, listen to this. A few agents from the DEA were suspended this week for being involved in sex parties with prostitution, prostitutes hired by drug cartels. The DEA. Yeah. Well. The agents have apologized, saying, if we can have our jobs back, next time we'll just stick to the drugs. <laughs> Government money, government money. <laughs> Scientists working on the Large Hydron Collider are going to fire up the Atom Smasher to its highest energy level in hopes to make contact with uh, parallel universes. They're trying to find a universe where women will talk to them. Because <laughs> they're nerds. Nerds is good, it's fine. It's really nerds. That's good. OK, uh, this was in the news. Uh, tell me what you think. MTV is trying to figure out a way to fix its slipping ratings. Uh, so you're saying that no one wants to watch the 47th season of Real World? <laughs> Indonesia? <laughs> yeah. We wanted to help MTV, MTV out, so we came up with a list of new shows for them. First up, we have 17 and Pregnant. Same girls from, that they used from 16, but they just got pregnant again. <laughs> um, Bruce Jenner's Keeping Up With My Sexual Preferences. <laughs> That's hard to keep up with. Reboot Flavor Flav show Flavor of Love and call it Flavor of Viagra. <laughs> right? Yeah, boy. It's getting old. Hey. Okay. A game show where the. <laughs> uh, a game show. Yeah. Called. What? <laughs> Sorry. How's everyone doing tonight? Doing good? Okay. I know how Obama feels. Teleprompters. Am I right? Yeah, you're right. right. Okay. Thank you. Um, <laughs> Game show called What Boyfriend Is Taylor Swift Mad At Today? <laughs> and finally, this might be a stretch, but maybe let's bring back music videos. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, all right. We got a great show for you guys tonight. First things first, let's hear it for our DJ, Mr. Lenny Love Alfonso.
for coming out tonight. So our first guest is the CEO of Pet Chow, Chris Wolkowski. Please come on out, Chris. Hi, thanks for being here. Have a seat. Where's your drink? It's right here. Uh, hey, I thought, okay. <laughs> Well, Chris, we're so excited to have you here. I'm um, excited to be here. Yeah, you're a new Vegas tech entrepreneur, one of a kind. Thank you. Um, what inspired you to become an entrepreneur? Uh, well, I've been in college for like the last eight, nine years. No, I'm just kidding. Like, <laughs> like all of us getting a bachelor's degree, right? <laughs> so uh, I just graduated like a year ago uh, as a graphic artist. And uh, I've been coming down here, you know, checking out the Vegas tech scene for the last couple of years. And... Uh, being involved with everyone and it's just very inspiring and seeing how everyone works hard and just grinds every day and uh, being at work in progress and innovation, you know, checking all that out and being involved with uh, TED Talks when they came out down here too. So, uh, and then with that, you know, I just decided to uh, try to start my own thing because I hate working for somebody for one and two, I couldn't wait to get out of school to just start working. After those eight years. Exactly. Yeah. At a bachelor's or was it an associate's? <laughs> Associates. <laughs> so tell us about your project, Pet Chow. Well, Pet Chow is one of a kind, like you said. Uh, it's a pet feeder, or smart pet feeder, which we like to call it. And uh, what it does is you're able to feed your pet from anywhere in the world. As long as you have a Wi-Fi connection within your home, you can uh, check data uh, for your pet's uh, health regimens and also have your pets call you. And it also has a temperature sensor. So that way you know if something is not going right within your home or if your AC or heater breaks, you know, it allows you to also monitor your home and your pet at all times. All right, so it's perfect for those nights when the dogs are home alone and I don't make it home because I drank too much? Yeah, or if you're on a date, vacay New York, Europe. Perfect. Like yeah, okay, and your business partner isn't in Vegas. Where'd you, where's your business partner? He's in North Dakota. How'd you find him in North Dakota? Um, Tinder. <laughs> no. Obviously, why would I even ask, right? Where we all find our soulmates. All right. Exactly. So um, we actually are going to check it out. We have Pet Chow hooked up, and we're actually going to give it a go. So. Oh, do you? Yeah. Oh. Incoming call. Hey, Jill. How's it going? Intern Joey, a downtown podcast checking in. <laughs> hey, Joe. How's it going in the cage? Oh, you know, it's been great. Uh, you know, that has ups and downs. Uh, the downs are, I, I went to Harvard and stuck with a cage for a week. Uh, the bathroom situation isn't the greatest, but the pluses are, I got these great toys you see over here. Uh, so, uh, I, got a, I got a roommate though, I mean, she's the best. Good listener, quick person to talk to, you know. Uh, and we get food up, well, anytime you want. Oh, Ebby, how are you? I miss you. Oh, I bet you're really hungry. Oh, I hope you're doing okay. Let's let's feed you. Uh, dry cornflakes again. Evie's favorite. <laughs> you know, I like my cornflakes with milk, but uh, I guess you forgot that uh, this time. Like, like last time and the time before that. But I guess you are, you know, you're going to remember next time. So let me get some water. <laughs> Uh, you can find us on our website at pet-chow.com or on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at PetChowUDS. All right. Well, thank you so much yeah, for being you. here. We're excited. I think it's going to be a huge success for those who are out tindering and can't make it home. Well, let's make it happen for all of them. Yes. Up next, we have Dylan with Sanan.
Take a break and step out to the dazzling lights. Start where it all began. Try your luck on Fremont East. Listen to live music as you make your way down the street. You'll collide and connect with amazing people. Later in the night, you'll find a variety of restaurants ready to satisfy any appetite or craving you may have. Pick any bar, lounge, or cafe. Have a craft cocktail while the kids go down the slide as you relax and unwind with your favorite drink. Explore the shops and galleries you'll find curated items just for you. You'll love downtown Las Vegas. Show the world. Visit us online at lovedtlv.vegas. You guys have good energy. I love this crowd. You guys are amazing. All right, well, the next guest coming out thrives on connecting people and creating collisions from small gatherings to over 1,000 leaders at his Impact Conference, which happens right here in Las Vegas at City Center every single year. Your next guest is also the CEO of KCOM, which is a full-service internet marketing and public relations firm with over 1,000 clients worldwide. And not to mention, he is also the founder and chairman of the Board of Internet Marketing Association. I'm sure you guys have heard of this before. It now has over a million professional members, 150 business partners, which include big names we've all heard of, like Adobe, Oracle, and Microsoft. Now, so ladies and gentlemen, even though I'm winded, please help me by welcoming Sinan. Come on out. Sinan. What up? Have a seat. Okay. <laughs> Uh, make sure the knees are touching. It's Please. a thing I learned about interviews. Hold hands hands no, I'm just okay. kidding. <laughs> okay, so we, all, we already know that you are an expert at knowing people, right? Like you spend a lot of your life focusing on people first and then the businesses that come after. But we wanted to put you to a new challenge today. So oh. have you ever heard of the game Guess Who from childhood? Uh, I think my two-year-old daughter just learned how to play it. Oh, yeah. well, we're now. Um, but, but this would be good because I don't know how good you are at networking with monkeys. Or, I, I deal with or, them sometimes. Or, 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 bur okay. or birds or snakes sure. or turtles. So everybody can see the game of Guess Who is set here. So um, just while we were doing the interview, I thought we could play a quick game. So okay. you know how it works? Yeah, you taught me upstairs. Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I thought this was everyone's childhood. Am I thought I he would just know it. the only one that's not drinking? In fact, sure. has any guest ever bought everyone in your audience a drink? No. You know. This is an Oprah moment? Or is this like, are you, it doesn't ever happen. I'm going to buy everyone a drink. So you have to. Okay. All right. Yes. Everybody. I'm a volunteer. Okay. I'm a volunteer. Seriously. We get it too. That way, if my jokes <laughs> suck, you're still gonna like me. So, okay. All right. This is I do the whole show for drinks. Like this well, is I'm like this is like one, the whole one drink. About. One drink though. Okay. Then we close the tap. All right. Okay. All right. So, am I the, um, the monkey? Anyways, or yeah. So no. So okay, the so the first question is. Um, tell me something personal about your own life, and does your animal live in the water? So like let, let me just see. You know, I see an animal here that I'm going to call out. You know, and and it reminds me of what I've had to go through in business because there's a lot of these sort of animals out there that are oh, trying okay. to attack you. So there's this vibrant startup community here in downtown Vegas that just I'm so attracted to, and and my friend Tony got me involved with a lot of the startups that are here, and I'm so inspired by so many people in the audience. And the thing that is very personal to me were all the struggles that I went through in starting my businesses because. Every every step of the way, I just felt like, hey, it should get better, but it never got better. It got worse, Ugh. and it was such a hardship. Closing the doors. Yeah, and so with that, it, it's it's nice to kind of be at a point now where some things have gone right, and all I want to do is kind of give back and help anyone who's starting up a business down here in downtown Vegas, or if you're part of a business and you feel like a door is shut on you and you're just looking for an outlet for leadership or just connections to people. Um, I want to be your outlet. And so that's something that has become a passion of mine. Yeah. And so based on the people that were trying to attack me, can you guess what animal that is? Oh, okay. Well, the fish, I think he's out because he's in water and you don't spend much time. You're a bowler, right? Yeah. You said you, that was one of your yeah. passions. You like bowling on the side. Bowling as in um, not like legalized marijuana. I'm talking yeah. about like 
spin, well, strike. I, yeah. You know? I usually am thinking in the gutter, but I'm wrong. I'll take to the nearest bowling lane, and I'll play you one game. All right. And if you beat me, okay. All three of the dogs are too happy. The okay. snake is definitely in the running. That, that bird is the in the running. That oh, I was it. There's so many snakes in business. I'm sure you guys are dealing with that. Look, I'm not trying to get philosophical, but you know what? Just the snake. I just closed this guy out. I've never thing. even played this game, so I guess I won, right? But... You did a good job. Can I you mention I'm buying won. everyone drinks in this <laughs> interview over yet? But seriously, there's a lot of snakes out there that try and take you down in business. And that was one of my greatest hardships, uh, where they're just getting attacked over and over again. And you know, if you're honest, you're integral, you do the right thing, everything always works in your favor. Maybe not in the short term, but long term, that integrity is very important. And just step okay, on so, those snakes. So, okay, so building, yeah. on, building off that a little bit, there, um, I've definitely started noticing sometimes in my life when connecting people it helped me a lot more than I would have thought it would. Right. Um, but, I, but there's always this sort of struggle in your head, is, especially you're putting together these events with extremely high-powered people. How are you rating? Only so many people can fit at the table. How do you rate them without feeling sort of inhuman and not measuring net worth and things like that? Like, what right. are you using to make sure that the right people get together and... You know, I just kind of think of everyone's like naked and showers, right? So like, okay, hey, yeah. we all have to shower. deal with reality, right? We're human <laughs> beings. So there's really no judgment on someone's influence or how high they are on the totem pole. It's really right. the feeling that you have. And some people are billionaires and some people are, are you know, completely broke. Uh, but the reality is we're given one chance at life and you want to make the best you can out of it. So when we bring leaders together, you know, I just think everyone's equal. And that's why at our conferences, we'll have the very top multi-billion dollar companies and their top CEOs, but we'll also have a startup that's inspired by that CEO sitting at that same table and connecting ideas and helping each other grow. Because people that are at the top with their career really aren't at the top in their personal life. And there's a lot that people can share with one another. And you know, as, as Tony and, and a lot of you guys talk about collisions here, it's something that we really believe in as well. And you can collide ideas and, and you know, of people that, that maybe are not like-minded with you, but if they're at the same table, you'll kind of kind of gel together. Yeah, well, now you're getting everybody a drink. Like, yeah. that'll be right. Yeah, probably. I can see a lot of these people mixing together. Absolutely. OK, so um, what, what advice do you have for these? So they're all about to get drunk with each other. OK. Like, there probably is some, some two people in here are, would make the most valuable connection. How do we, what, what's the advice to help that happen? Yeah, you know, just treat people the way you would want to be treated and, and listen more than talk. My wife taught me that, you know, because I would always <laughs> be, like, looking over people's shoulders to see who I can network with next. But sometimes it's better to just walk into a room and stay in one spot and really focus on that one individual and have a deeper conversation and build a deeper layer of trust because that will layer into all sorts of other benefits. And some people will recognize yeah, you and come sense, to yeah. you. So that's one of the things that, that I've learned is, is just listen more. Uh, and then teamwork, you know, work with people. Don't try and own and control all the power or influence in a situation. Really try and share that and recognize that person and say, hey, you're doing a great job and you should be recognized for it and try and give them recognition within their business and don't take credit for it. And like a boomerang, it'll come back. It's called good karma. It's happened to me multiple times. Yeah. And you know, if you really just focus on doing the good for people enough times, it's like gambling out there, right? You hit enough of those numbers on roulette, one of those numbers are going to hit. It's going to pay 33 to 1. Right. And when it doesn't, it cost, you, when it doesn't cost you to spin the wheel, right, like, exactly. it's just about you going yeah. out and helping. So do you have any good examples of somebody that you talked to and thought, you know, I, they're just a good person, but I don't see how anything's going to come from it. And then later, to your surprise, like they did connect with somebody and change the world? Or Yeah. I mean, a lot of my friends that are here, Chad, Keith, Joe, Dylan, yeah. I mean, it's amazing how you meet somebody and then like a couple months later they come back at you and they say, hey, we want to feature you in a magazine. We want to feature you in your show. And to me, this is like the, the biggest benefit in, in what I do is helping others. So it comes around when you least expect it. So, you know, my advice is don't ever try and plan who you're going to meet. Don't try and tactically, you know, prod someone out and just try and stalk them and meet them. Really just let nature take its course and just you know, have good hygiene, have good, you know, table side <laughs> manners. I mean, just shaking the armpits. you yeah. don't smell, I no. don't smell. You know, I mean, if you don't smell, that's a head start, right? So, right. I mean, you got to start somewhere. No, we can all not smell. I know, seriously. That's, that, that's, that, that's, that's a good start, yeah. All right, seriously. thanks for teaching us about yeah, hygiene. Absolutely. We appreciate it. Everybody, check them out. It's good. Yeah, Mark, okay. <laughs> okay, before you, before you. <laughs> Before you totally run off, tell them, what, what, tell them about the conference, tell them every place that we can do it here in Vegas to help you. Right. So we 
have had impact here in Las Vegas for the last six years. It's at ARIA. This year, it's September 23rd through the 25th. Uh, we'll have a thousand executive marketing folks from large companies and small companies. Um, but I'd like to invite all of you as my guests to come check it out and meet our folks. And, you know, like I said, you know, there's big time people there, but there's also startup people, and we want to bring them all together and blend ideas together. So uh, let me know. Just follow up with our website and email me. I have 50 business cards. I think we have maybe 150 people. So cut them into thirds and just divide them up. Um, and, you know, I'd love to have you as my guest and just kind of share some of our uh, contacts with all of you. It's yeah. very nice. Cool. Viran, Thanks. Come say hi to him. Hey. All right. Thank you. The internet, the world's most amazing tool to stare at adorable cats, like all day. But it doesn't have to be that way, really. Tracky helps you connect, collaborate, and get stuff done. It's a social way to organize your personal and professional life. Inspire the people you work with. And inspire yourself to enjoy more of life's little things. And when the work is done, Tracky helps you plan, and play. Gather your friends and have some fun. And make sure your plans are awesome. Fun, easy. Nobody needs to worry about bears this time around. A long day and a fun night deserve the thwack of a high five. Welcome to Tracky, the tool where everything and everyone in your life works together in harmony. Connect, collaborate, done. Ladies and gentlemen, I used to work for the Grandpa Brumby. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, that's our show for you guys tonight. Make sure you follow us on Twitter, on Instagram, Snapchat, all that other stuff. We want to thank our guests, especially Brumby. Thank you, Brumby. Yeah, 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 Brumby. Yeah,